A lot of attention has been placed on the $1.3 billion in U.S. aid on the line since Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi's overthrow. With the White House stopping short of calling the crisis a coup, a word which, if acknowledged, would trigger a halt in funding. Pundits are asking what moves the administration will take next, and does Egypt even need that aid? But first, a little history. As a way of sweetening the deal at the Camp David Accords, the U.S. agreed to give Egypt a massive military aid package every year. And if you're wondering just what $1.3 billion will buy, the Congressional Research Service breaks it down. In 2011, that meant some 1,200 or so tanks, 20 F-16 fighter jets, and beefed up security along the Sinai Peninsula. But now recent events have put the U.S. in a tricky position. Either embrace the pro-American military government or cut off the aid it relies upon. Over the last several weeks, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel has reportedly spoken daily to General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, warning that more violence could jeopardize future payments. But does Egypt need all that aid? It has all the battleships and planes it could possibly need for a full-scale war, as NPR points out. But that won't help much with threats like terrorism and instability along the Sinai. As a Middle East expert at the George Washington University told NPR, there's no conceivable scenario in which they'd need all those tanks short of an alien invasion. And then there's the question of how much leverage the aid gives the Obama administration when it comes to influencing Egyptian politics. An analyst for Fox News says the aid, at the very least, buys the U.S. a seat at the table. We can use that influence that we have with them to say, look, the answer here is not to go slaughter a lot of people. Others are more skeptical. A writer for U.S. News & World Report writes, the big lie regarding aid to Egypt is that it gives America leverage over other events there. Clearly, the Egyptian military couldn't care less about American condemnation. While the U.S. considers what to do with its $1.3 billion in annual aid, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and the United Arab Emirates have already written a check out to Egypt for $12 billion. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.